As cooler temperatures make their way into our region, space heaters may seem like a simple solution for those cold, blistery days. However, if set up incorrectly, they could spell trouble for you and your home. Heater incidents, as far as the, the country, um, one out of every uh, five fatalities, fire fatalities in the country are related to, to heating, uh, heating related incidents or heating appliances inside the home. Uh, one out of every seven fires in the country are related to, to, to heat related appliances inside the home. According to 2018 data from the National Fire Protection Association, over 80% of fire-related deaths are due to fixed or portable space heaters, and over half of fire-related deaths were caused by having equipment set too close to combustible material. Pikeville Fire Department says to make sure heating equipment works properly. You want to make sure that it's been tested. Uh, you want to make sure that it has the UL, UL listing or the underwriter's laboratories testing that's being conducted on it to make sure that it possibly is going to be pretty safe in your home. And if it's an electrical, electrical heated appliance, then just making sure that uh, you check the cords but prior to plugging them up is making sure that the cords don't have any frays or, or exposed wiring. Uh, making sure that the ends, if, it, if they are grounded, to make sure that it has the ground plug. That, that's in place for your, for your safety. Along with checking your heater for operation, PFD recommends keeping heaters at least three feet away from combustible material and ensuring areas are well ventilated for fuel-based heaters. If we're going to plug it into the wall, just I know that we have two, maybe two outlets, uh, two plugs on an outlet. If we're using a heating appliance, just use one of those outlets. I know that if we have it, then we want to try to use it because I need to plug my phone up or I just need to plug this up just for, for a moment just to have power. But try to use those, those outlets with just one, utilize them one plug. That way that we don't possibly over, overload the circuits. Additionally, for heaters that use kerosene or natural gas, PFD says having a carbon monoxide detector could save your life as carbon monoxide is a silent killer. And if you happen to have uh, carbon monoxide in, inside the atmosphere of the home, whenever you're fast asleep, you, you won't wake up to, to know it. Is that, that carbon monoxide detector saves, saves lives. And, and we don't, we don't want to, to walk in or, or have to find someone that has went down to carbon monoxide. They'll, they'll let you know in the event that, that, that you need, to, need something looked at or you may have a problem. Lastly, as poor weather is expected to hit our region, PFD says to make sure generators are left outside and are equipped with a transfer switch. Because if we don't have that transfer switch, then we're using a generator inside the home. It can possibly backfeed power and, and potentially harm uh, one of the electrical workers trying to, trying to get that power restored. We don't want to send, send power through the line. So making sure that we have generators spaced from the home um, not overloading the, the circuits or the, or the appliances that we're trying to, trying to supply with those generators. A winter storm watch is in effect from late Saturday night into late Sunday night. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.